Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first moving vlog. So far, over the last couple of days, I have uh, cleaned out my TV unit and I have also uh, cleaned off like my dining table and I sold both of those to the same lady. I've also sold my coffee table. I've sold a few little bits and pieces of home decor. I have someone coming to get the couch tomorrow and I am just so excited to start getting everything like packed up and boxed up and start moving things over and picking the keys up this Friday um, and I'm so excited to do that and everything is just an absolute mess right now like complete hot mess um, I've got decor all over my house because I'm trying to go through everything and decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep so everything's really really messy but it's been nice to kind of just be like slowly getting rid of things I still have like three weeks left in this apartment so I've still got time to get rid of everything but yeah I'm just so ready to get moving and get into the new place I need to show you like this mess This is the current state of my living room. I have plants, decor, cushions, pillows, candles and candle holders and everything off my coffee table because I had to quickly get rid of it all out and haven't had a chance to sort through it yet. I can't wait to get rid of all of this stuff and start boxing things up. I have some clothes drying here. I have a couple of boxes that are empty and ready to be packed. I have a few um, bits of camera equipment and things that need to be all packed down. This entire shelf is going to be packed down and taken with me and then my couch is all that's left. I managed to get rid of a couple of cushions and I still wanna get rid of these ones. Uh, and that's pretty much it for my living room. I can't wait to finally get this all cleaned out and out of here. I think tonight is the last night I'm going to be spending in my bed. So I'm actually going to take my mattress out into the living room and pull apart my bed frame so that I can pack it up and take it with me to the new house tomorrow. This is going to be my bed for this evening. I can't believe this is going to be like my last night staying here. Whether I stay in the new place tomorrow or I just stay at Dan's for a couple of nights, I don't know. But this is my bed. And then this is all stuff that's got to be packed up and boxed away. I've got a few empty cardboard boxes here that I'll be able to pack some things into and get all that sorted. Um, but I think I might do that another day and not today because that sort of stuff can go in my car. I just got to get the big stuff that can go in the van uh, now. Isn't it amazing what you can find under your bed when you haven't looked for a while? I found a charger cable and a lolly and a pen and just a couple of other random things. Things that I could probably do with using. the next day and we've made it to the new house. Mitch and I have been moving stuff all day and it is like a thousand degrees. It's so hot and my makeup has slipped off my face and my glasses are so filthy. I really, really need to clean them because I almost can't see out of them anymore. But it feels so good to finally have moved stuff. Um, it's just been unboxing all kinds of stuff for the kitchen and we're so hungry we need to eat. So we're going to eat some new food. This is kind of what the beginning of my room looks like. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this space yet or how it's going to turn out, but this is the beginning. And it feels good to finally have this all in today. Tomorrow I'm doing my office and getting all that stuff moved over. But this was the first thing that I did today and it feels so good. I think I'm going to put this plant near the window. Look at him. He needs a little bit of loving. He kind of died while I was overseas. And um, so... 
Yeah, he's coming back to life though, which is good. So I'm gonna put him near the window. I brought over a basket of washing because I figured if it was clean washing, it's all clothes that I've recently worn, so I'll wear them again. So I've just folded them up and I'm gonna start putting them away. I'm not really sure about where my chest of drawers is gonna go. I've pulled apart almost everything in my office space. I have like the legs of all my chairs, storage stuff, plants, chair, my light boxes and everything. So I'm gonna start loading this into my car so I can get out of here and start organizing my new office space. So here's some of my makeup that I now need to put back in here. I, the big bags that they were in broke, so I'm just bringing them up little bag by little bag. It's all sectioned off, so it should be really easy to just put it straight back in here. So I'm gonna do these four and then just kind of keep going back and forth up and down the stairs to bring everything up. But it shouldn't take me too long because I am going to be keeping the stuff that I use every day downstairs in my bathroom. And then the rest of the stuff that's kind of like, I think I've got like fake blood in here, like Halloween stuff can just go in these drawers for now. Lipstick drawer is done. I actually had a couple of um, face products in those bags for some reason. And then this is my eye drawer. I have um, like eye products, I guess. And then lashes in this corner, individual eyeshadows, and then all my palettes down the back, which probably won't stay very neat to be honest they always move around every time i shut and open the drawers but i'm gonna go downstairs grab some more bags and keep filling this up so this drawer is all of my like face products and then in the one underneath that i have all of my like foundations and just kind of some body products as well so i think i have a few more bags downstairs but since being able to split half of this between the bathroom and here it's made these drawers like much more organized and neat so this is pretty much everything from my bathroom cupboards and yes it was this messy inside the cupboards I had storage containers but it was never neat and I was it was something I always wanted to clean out and get rid of products that were empty I did throw a couple out before I left and it was something I wanted to do before I moved but now that pretty much my whole life is in the new house I just felt more comfortable decluttering it here so um, I'm gonna go through and kind of divide everything into like you know medical like band-aids and pills and bandages and whatever else you need for like first aid that kind of stuff um probably face products body products female products i don't know whatever else other categories i come up with but i'm just going to go through and just start separating everything into different categories putting them in these containers i may need to get different containers but i have so much bathroom storage that this is not going to be an issue to get through so i'm really excited to start cleaning through my life and getting rid of things everything sorted I have like miscellaneous in this one like teeth products razor heads soap sunscreen brush cleaner um, hand sanitizers this one's all kind of face products like moisturizers creams spray waters like samples and like those nose strips over here are all my band-aids my nasal sprays my like creams and stuff when I cut myself or whatever happens I like my first aid kit I have some fake tan that can go into the cupboard on its own. I have some baby powder. These are like my travel size shampoos that I use. Over here I have all pads, tampons, etc. This is my brush cleaning stuff and my brush racks. I have my Claire Sonic over here that I actually haven't used in forever and I kind of want to clean it up and get a new brush head for it. And then I also have a shampoo and conditioner that is it's full and I feel like I should keep it just for when I run out. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think everything's pretty well divided up into all of their categories so I can put this all into the cupboard and then I have this big bag of rubbish of empty products or products and stuff that I don't want anymore so it feels really good to get that all sorted and divided up and clean and now I can go and put this in my cupboard. It is sometime like a week later. I actually have no idea. This whole uh, moving vlog's been a little bit here, there, and everywhere. Um, each day I've been doing a little bit of moving, like I did my bathroom cupboards one day. I kind of cleaned out one of the storage cupboards yesterday. Today I'm cleaning out another storage cupboard, which is actually going to be an entire video It's on its own because there's so much organizational stuff going into that. So that's kind of, you know, warrants its own video. Um, but yeah, things are coming together. Like I'm getting my room together. I don't know if I've mentioned this already. I bought this the other day at Freedom 
and these were like half price and I really like this goldy kind of really um, cozy look so that's kind of gonna be the theme for this room which I'm really excited to start styling up and going and buying some new stuff for that um, but pretty much everything's done my car actually has some kitchen stuff in it that I need to empty this morning and then Mitch and I are going to Ikea and Kmart to pick up some storage stuff some meal prep like bowl storage containers and a chest of drawers or something I don't know something that he needs um, so yeah we're gonna go do that so I've decided to get a pink bath mat for my bathroom and then I have a big storage tub for my Christmas decorations. This is Mitch's storage tub and I've picked out four storage tubs here but I'm going to go look in Ikea and then come back if I can't find anything in Ikea. I got a little carried away. I ended up getting a blush velvet ottoman from Kmart. I'm going to open it. It looks so cool. It's just for my room here. Um, and then I also, in the blush color, got a new bath mat that was $12. I think the ottoman was $29. This one was 12 and then from Ikea I got two frames to, I'm going to see if I can buy some nice prints on Etsy and then have them printed and then I'm going to have them put up above my bed here. So that's kind of that idea and I think those were like 12 or $13 each. But these are the kind of the fun things I bought and then I did buy a whole bunch of storage as well. Um, but that's, that's where we're at with all of this. I think from now on seeing as I'm pretty much moved. I might do like a styling video and like buying new decor and stuff that's kind of pretty but this is kind of the last I guess of everything that I've actually really moved from one house to the other. I haven't really shown you my office room. Almost all the furniture came over except my chest of drawers. I'm going to sell that because there's so much storage in this house I just don't need it. So I brought my plants over. These are just fake plants from Adairs. This one is from like Richmond Home or something in Richmond Victoria Garden Shopping Center. My uh, Kiki K black box storage, my printer, my little chair from Kmart and my pillow from Kmart, another one of my Adairs plants and then of course my spare makeup is in these drawers and then I have a few prints down here that were on my wall before. I'm not sure if I'll get new ones or different ones. I have my white chair that I got from Big W like years ago so I don't know if you can still get it. I have my laptop, I just had a cup of tea, um, my external hard drive which I edit all my videos off and my Mac desktop and another little desk over here that's kind of not pushed all the way to the corner. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm going to rearrange this and make this different but this is just kind of what's happening right now. It's pretty simple um, and then I actually have a wardrobe here that I'm planning to put um, like all of my DIY supplies and a bunch of other stuff that will be organized in a video after this video. But that's where we're at with this office space and it just, it feels so good to be in this place. I've been here for a few nights now and it just, it feels good. Everything is a bit of a mess in our living space. We've had lots of different furniture arrive. We had these chairs come today but I've only had time to put one together so we have like another few to put together. Rachel and I put this um, entire what do you call this buffet thing together the other day it took us ages and i actually think the video of that is going to be on her channel so i'll leave her channel linked in the description we went to the markets and picked up these beautiful um australian native plants although i don't know if i don't think this is australian native i actually have no idea but this definitely is um and i think it looks great we have a pot here we're probably gonna put a really big plant in and so most of everything that's been going on is just building furniture and like dealing with a lot of cardboard and boxes we also had some cute stools show up today there's not really much happening in our living room at the moment we have this fabulous coffee table that Rachel found somewhere and some more flowers slash leave things from the markets my TV's over there still deciding on like a TV unit and we have a little mini bar fridge that won't stay there it'll probably go somewhere else but yeah this is the state of our living room at the moment that's where I'm gonna end this vlog it's like the first week of moving I do have a couple of other videos that I'm going to put together for you kind of like um, organization and decor hauls and those kinds of things so I hope you guys have enjoyed it up the top of you, you can check out my last video down the bottom I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you in my next one bye